Hello everyone, welcome to our next video of MLOps Zoom Camp and in this video I want to show you how to prepare the environment. I will use AWS here, so you can also use AWS. You can also use Google Cloud Platform, you can also use your local computer, you can also try that for Windows. So for example, I'm actually running Windows right now, so I use Git Bash. You can also install Git Bash and do everything on your Windows computer. On Mac OS, I think it will work as well. But for development, Linux is actually better. So my recommendation would be to get a Linux machine. If you cannot install Linux on your computer, use a computer in the cloud, and I will show you how to actually do that. So once you have an account in AWS, go to EC2 and create an instance here. So for that, I already have a computer here. So I will click here, launch instances, and I will create an instance, for example, MLOps Zoom Camp. And we will need to now select the OS we want to use. So I'll go with Ubuntu. Here we can choose two types of two different architectures. So I would actually go with this x86, the Intel architecture, because with ARM, many tools that we will need might not work. So it's better to be on the safe side and go with the Intel architecture. And now we need to select the instance. So this one, this T2 micro, says free tier eligible. It means that we can use this them for free for some time. This is not sufficient. We need to have something more powerful. And for example, this T2 large, or for example, this one with 16 max of RAM should be sufficient. Maybe even this one, eight gigs uh, should be fine. I'll go with this one. So you can go with a cheaper one. And for example, if you use Google Cloud Platform, on Google Cloud Platform, you can get $300 for free for three months, I think. So you don't have to pay anything at all. So here I will use AWS. Actually, this costs some money. Now, if you do not have like a key, you will need to create it. I will use an existing key. I can show you how to actually create. So create a key and you write the name of the key here, select PAM and then create key pair. And then you will download the key and you will need to place this key to this .ssh folder. So in this folder, I already have some keys. And for example, this one is the key I am going to use. And if you're wondering why it's called Razer is because this is the computer I use. It's a Razer computer. That's why this is the name. So I'll select Razer. And then the rest can leave it. Yeah, this one, we can just leave it like that. Eight gigs might not be enough. I'll go with 30 gigs of storage. So this will be things we store because we will need to, with Docker, we'll need to download a lot of images. Then we'll also process some data. So it will take some storage. Uh, I don't think we need to change anything here. So I just click launch instance. Okay, so it says it successfully did. So this is the computer. This is the machine, so it already has a public IP and I can use this. So I will do SSH minus I. This is the path to the file. SSH for me, the path to the key. So this is a Razer PAM and then the username Ubuntu at this IP address. And now type yes and I connect it to the remote service. We do not need to type this thing every time. We can edit in SSH, we can edit the config file. So here we can define it. So we can say that host we will, here we will give an alias. This is a different host that, uh, from the previous course, from the data engineering Zoom camp. So actually here, this is a computer on Google Cloud Storage. Here I'll call it ML Ops Zoom camp and hostname will be this IP address. You can also use this public IP. This is the same thing, so whatever you prefer. Then user for us will be Ubuntu, identity file. So here I use the full URL. So this is my home location. I think it's razor.pem. And then this one, so it doesn't ask me if I trust the thing every time. And actually, 
not at this host when you stop your instance at the end you will need to stop it so you don't pay for this while it's idle and then next time you start you will have a different ip so it's important every time you start an instance to change this file okay i save it and now i can just do ssh mlops room comp okay now we logged in and we do not have anything on this computer we now need to install python there is probably some python already but this is not the python we need yeah so there's oh wow it's python 3.10 that's pretty new i think this is a new ubuntu yeah, it's 22.04 okay we do not need that new python we'll go and actually because we need to download a lot of packages I prefer to just go and get Anaconda. So you go to Anaconda and, okay, I think we just need to download, but we, I don't need Windows, right? So I just, this one for Linux and we need this installer. So I copy the link and I download it with wget. And now I execute this. We need to read all that and accept the license. It will install it to this location. Now it will take some time to install it. While it is installing it, let me open a new tab. We will install Docker. So for that, I'll just do sudo apt install docker. I think I need to do sort of update. And now install Docker. Yes. Okay, it will take some time. In addition to Docker, we also will need a Docker Compose. Oh, it's already installed. So I'll create a folder, I'll call it soft. So I'll go there and we will need to install Docker Compose. I usually do Docker Compose uh, GitHub. So in GitHub, we open the GitHub page and we go to releases. We can just go with latest. And in the releases, there are assets and we find the one we need. So we need this one for Linux. So I just download it. And I will give it a name, Docker Compose. So we have this Docker Compose. It's not executable. I need to make it executable. And now we have this as an executable thing. So it lives in this soft folder. So we need to be able to access the soft folder from any location. For that, we need to change to modify our path variable. And oops rc so then we can go to the end and then do export path and then this will be a home location so this is my home and then soft so everything that is in this slash soft will be on my path and i can execute it from anywhere and then path and now i need to execute this file And when I do which Docker compose, it points me to this location. I think it's installed Docker, so now we can test it if it works. So I'll do Docker run hello world. It's not working because I need to run it with sudo. I do not want to run it with sudo every time. That's why we need to add Docker to, we need to add our user to uh, docker group that actually I forget how to do this every time so I just google docker without sudo and then oh, yeah, let's do this one so let's execute this one docker yeah it already exists we don't need this and then this one we add ourselves to the user group of docker it now it says log out and log back Oh, well, let's do that. And now when I do docker run hello world, I do not need to 
write sudo in front of that. So now it works without sudo. That's good. Okay, Anaconda finished installing. And yeah, I just want to init. And when I need, I think we again need to log in and log out. And you see, we have this base. It means that Anaconda works. And now when I do which Python, it points to Anaconda. You can also see what kind of thing it changed. So if we go at the end, it added this thing to our bash rc. So which is very similar thing to what we did with this soft folder. Okay, so we installed Python with Anaconda. So let me just quickly check the version. Yeah, it's Python 3.9. This is the version of Python we will use throughout the course. Now we will clone the repo with the course. So I will go to GitHub. I'll just go to my account. And then in my account, I have a link to MLOps comp. And then here I will get the link. So probably we will need to use, unless you, if you want to push from your remote machine, you need to use SSH. If only you want to pull, then you can go with HTTP. So I will, I will use this HTTPS. Right. I will need to get clone. Okay. Because you also, to be able to use this SSH, you need to configure to add your SSH key, to generate an SSH key on this remote computer. Then you need to add this to GitHub. I don't want to spend time on that. You can find how to do this. Okay. So we cloned the repo. And now I want to show you how we can get access to this computer with Visual Studio Code. So I open Visual Studio Code now. Yeah, I have this repo open locally. I want to connect to a remote machine and open it with Visual Studio Code. For that, I installed an extension. It's called Remote. Uh, it's like SSH remote, something like this. Yeah, this remote SSH, this is what I installed. You will need to go to these extensions and install it. I already have it. And then once you install it, you will see this open a remote window, then you connect to host and it knows the things in our SSH config. So it sees that there is MLOps zoom camp. So we can connect to this. Okay, I will not do anything here. Okay, the first thing it asks which kind of operating system is there. So I'll go with Linux. And yeah. Things are working. Now we have also a terminal here. We can open a folder, for example, our machine learning zoom camp. Yes, I trust the authors. And we have our repo here. And then they're cloned. Okay, next thing I want to show you is how to start Jupyter Notebook. In the next lesson, we will actually use Jupyter Notebook for doing for creating our first model for predicting the duration of a trip. So I will create a folder in notebooks. And then in this folder, I will start Jupyter Notebook. And now I started this on a remote computer. So if I go to my browser and type localhost 8888, it of course will not work because it is a remote machine. Now actually I need to connect to this remote machine from my computer. For that, we can use port forwarding. So we can connect the remote port on the remote machine to a local port on our computer. And with SSH, you can do it with SSH. And actually, I will use Visual Studio Code for that. So Visual Studio Code gives you an easy way of configuring that. You can configure it with SSH config, but with Visual Studio Code, it's much simpler. So what I did now, I pressed Ctrl tilde to open a terminal. On Mac OS, it's probably command tilde or something. I don't know. Google it. And then I go to ports. And then it says there are no forwarded ports. Now let's forward it. So the port we want to forward is this uh, 8888. So this is the port where Jupyter is running. And we are forwarding to our host machine 8888 as well. And now, if I reload this, yeah, of course, I need to use this thing. 
this URL. And now it works. So I can just create a kernel. Oh, I don't know, duration prediction. And then I can import. So let's see what the version of Python is. So this is the same version as we saw previously. And I can do import pandas SPD. And then we can use this for loading the data. I think that's all I wanted to show you for this video. We installed almost everything we needed. We will probably install other things, but this gives you the basis for the course. So we have Docker, we have Python, we have Jupyter. And if we need to install anything on top of that, we will show you how. So that's it for this lesson and see you soon.